Hello, Connection and Separation Collective, and welcome back, Aquarius. Today, I'll be taking a look at you and your partner's energy in the past present and near future. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers my new viewers and visitors alike. Thank you and each and every one of you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Continue to like, share, and subscribe. And let's take a look here, Aquarius. You and your partner in this long distance connection or connection and separation. Let's take a look here at your past and recent past as a couple, okay? Or as in this connection. All right, so let's take a look here at the past, or for some of you, this is your recent past, okay? So we have here forgiveness, and we have here freedom, okay? We also have history here. So this tells me that there may have been something in the past or recent past where um, there was either a, a lack of communication or there was a some sense of like either not being able to see something or the lack of transparency or something. I feel here for some of you that there may have been a an event or a situation that created some type of trigger or created some type of situation where there was a feeling here of regret, of shame, or of guilt. Now, whether that was something that was said or done, there was here the sense of either being forgiving, be, being forgiven or forgiving the other partner. Okay, I feel here that there was a little bit of confusion there in the past or recent past. And here with freedom, I feel here that once the forgiveness phase, once um, both of you decided to just let things go, let the confusion go, let the mystery or the lack of transparency go, or, la or, or um, release the lack of trust that there may have been here in the past or recent past, once those three things were in a way released or liberated here with this freedom card, um, through the act of forgiveness, I feel here that that's when things started to either pick up or start creating or, or started to create a, uh, a stronger foundation. But let's take a look here at more information and let's see what other details are revealed here in your past Aquarius as well as your partner yep water flight there was this late this this letting go okay basically what I just said especially being reconfirmed here with this freedom card okay it's a sense of liberation and that liberation um or just letting that go it says heaviness lifts Okay, so whatever was weighing down in the past, or recent past, this connection between you and your significant other, your partner, once that was released, it was like there was like a breath of fresh air here. Okay, let's take a look at more information. Now, this is going to be a continuous reading, which means I'm going to only cut this deck once and then I'm going to continue the reading forward. All right, so past or recent past, yes, five of cups, the sense of loss, something of importance, a feeling of loss, a feeling of discontentment, okay, um, a feeling of sorrow, some of you, a uh, heartache, okay, and uh, here, five of pentacles, there could have been this feeling here in the past or re recent past of loss of something of importance, yeah, like I said to you guys earlier, this forgiveness card was coming in with a lot of energy of uh, either lack of transparency, lack of trust, spying, or taking a look at your partner's social media, a little bit of confusion as well. Um, there was a lot of just emotions here um, that were lower vibrational. And it's interesting because that's exactly what's coming out here for you and your significant other. You guys have eight of cups. And like I said earlier, with the freedom card, once this was released, once there was an emotional disconnect, okay, we have freedom and you have liberation. You have free, uh, I'm sorry, you have forgiveness and you have freedom. Once you guys were able to either forgive each other or be forgiven or uh, have a mindset of let bygones be bygones and you released the energy of that heavy burden 
okay? Um, which is, again, reconfirmed here with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, it, the Eight of Cups is a, a disengagement of emotions, is letting go of emotions, not because you want to, but because there was a need to have to say to yourself, you know what, let bygones be bygones. And that's exactly here what I'm seeing uh, may have happened here or the storyline for you, Aquarius, and your significant other. Now, let's take a look here at the current energy. What is the present looking like here for Aquarius and their partner? Yeah, there was a lot of um, a feeling of loss, a feeling of sadness. I mean, this could also be... Um, you guys were missing each other a lot, you know what I mean? Um, and in a way, you had to kind of release that sense of overwhelming yearning or overwhelming sense of grief or feeling of loss in order to move forward. And in a way, once you broke free or liberated yourselves from that, it was like then things were able to move on. All right, let's take a look here at the present time. Yeah, you have steady and true. This is beautiful. Steady, the consistency here in the love or connection that you and your significant other have. True, being authentic to each other. Those two ingredients along with uh, love here is what in a, in a way is strengthening this connection at this moment in time. This period, this pyramid here is the structure of strength, of being able to feel a sense of stability. Okay. Here within this connection right now. Now, very interesting that I mentioned pyramid because here you have patience. So this has taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of time. It's taken patience. Okay. There was no instant gratification here that's happening. It's all about working towards that goal, but working steadily, which means consistently and honestly or authentically being genuinely aligned, all three of you. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said all three of you. Maybe some of you have blended families, but all three points here are, again, holding up this heart in the middle, okay? So I feel here... Um, for some of you are some of you are coming in already with a family meaning having children okay um stepchildren you know uh, you know just children is what i'm getting here i'm getting stepchildren also um so some of you may be blending your families right now okay is what i'm getting here with this card steady and true now all of this blending combining you know, strengthening has taken time because you also have here a triangle here in the back. Okay. So there's a symbol here of strength right now of uh, putting things together, of having to wait um, and, you know, really reaping the rewards now for that waiting. Okay. Let's take a look here at, um, it's very interesting. You guys have two triangles and Triangles have three sides. So I'm feeling here that some of you are, again, are coming in with uh, children already from prior connections. Um, and it's the sense of building a stronger foundation. For those of you that that resonates, I am getting uh, three here, like three things or three. Yeah, I'm getting, I don't know, I'm getting three. So just... <laughs> That's significant for someone here, for sure. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, we have visions, psychic images, okay, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body out of travel. Okay, there's a vision here. I feel here that this is also talking about a not only a vision of the psychic, a vision of the intuitive, vision of uh, the higher awareness, but also the vision of a common goal here. Okay. I'm getting here that there are, there's currently right now at this moment in time, and that may be the reason why I was saying three of you, um, even the, for those of you that are, it's just you and your significant other, there may be here, um, creation. Okay. So just letting you know, guys, there may be here a situation where, um, especially if you guys meet up, 
or are meeting up. Some of you may be even trying to have children, trying to conceive at this moment in time. There's this goal or vision that you guys share. Okay. Now, some of you, it might be family based, which is why I'm getting the number three here. It's like you, your partner and something else or someone else. Okay. And the someone else can be children. It could be a clear vision. You guys have your goal, but I am getting very strongly here. The number three. Now, What's happening right now at this moment in time? Well, you guys are deeply in love with one another, falling deeper in love, creating a stronger connection here. Okay. For those of you that are my seasoned, um, long distance connection, that means you're, you know, you, you, you've been with your person for quite some time. You guys are already married. This is just talking about here the love that you guys are continuing to share and that both of you, and this message goes for everyone whether it's seasoned a uh, seasoned connection or a connection that has uh, recently uh, come together but there is this feeling of that your person and you are one like you're a team okay here with falling in love it says kissing the divine in another so you feeling as if both of you are in sync and are in a way in some type of alignment okay now very interesting in order to to uh to go into a straight line one person has to be like this one person has to be like this and they have to join and continue together very interesting my hand automatically made a triangle here so there is this kind of focus that my guides are telling me here and they're kind of like pushing me to kind of uh, drive this message home to you guys where there is something here that you guys are creating that is if a deeper vision or a deeper sense of coming together. Okay. Now, very interesting here. Hadn't even taken a look at this. You guys have the three of cups. So for some of you, there is some sense here of reunion, reconciliation, or celebration. Again, three of cups is also friendship. It's the bonding. So here right now, um, at this moment in time, there's and and it's it's interesting is it's basically the energy that I'm getting in every card here. There's an there's a there's a bonding that's happening at this moment in time. For some of you, you may be able to travel to see your significant other. Maybe that could also be here. Reunion, being able to see each other, planning together on um, seeing each other, uh, spending time together physically with one another, okay? Or that may be in the talks. But definitely here, the Three of Cups is about celebration. So there may be something at this moment in time you guys are celebrating. Now, here you have the Knight of swords that means this is what's going on in the mind okay this is what's also in a way something that's reoccurring uh over and over again this these thoughts that i was talking to you about here that type of foundation that type of vision okay the friendship the reconciliation the reunion for some of you okay now let's take a look here at the near future what's coming up here for aquarius and their partner here in this long distance relationship or connection and separation you guys have influence you have heartbreak and you also have memories okay now there's definitely passion still here in the upcoming future now this is telling me here just be very careful here for anyone um on the outside kind of in the in the near future in a way whispering to each other's ears uh and, and what i mean by that is uh forms of gossip unwelcomed opinions uh people uh in a way trying to rain on your parade on your love on what's going on currently in your life okay for others of you this is just a reflection of the constant yearning and wanting to be together feeling like you've missed you miss your partner Okay. For some of you, there may be something up coming up in the near future where there may be an external uh, factor that may be a little bit heartbreaking, or um, you may feel a little bit of uh, a sense of loss, okay, or a painful a heartache or something that may happen this could be work related this could be within your family um this could be the chatter or the gossip that's creating or that may create or potentially here create in the near future this sense of not feeling great about what is being said or what is being heard by other people okay 
For others of you, this message is all about in the near future, you're just going to continue to miss your partner. And because of that missing, you guys are going to be tempted or aligned to kind of look back on memories, time spent together. In other words, you're missing your partner. Your partner's missing you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look here at more information here for Aquarius and their partner near future. All right, so you have here divination, okay? And what I'm feeling here, it says destiny, fate, future, future fortune, okay? So this is telling me that this potential energy, okay, that may be coming up for you, Aquarius, and your significant other, especially if we're talking about the fact that you guys may have a lower vibrational energy, you may be really missing your partner, it's just going to be that type of excruciating type of like, oh my gosh, I just can't wait to be with my significant other. And it's causing a lot of heart wrenching emotions. This is telling me things are going to change. There's going to be fate, destiny, but there's going to be here a, a, a switch. Okay. So here you go. All right. A switch of events and it may speed up here this seeing each other or being able to travel to one another because you guys have here homeland okay arrival the journey ends uh establishment building settled okay so there may be this uh feeling here of the ending of this longing and the ending of this yearning because for some of you, you may uh, be traveling towards your significant other. Your significant other may be traveling to you. You may go on vacation, okay? For others of you, here the journey ends, meaning the journey of this heartbreak, of this uh, sense of loss will end. And it will end um, because or with the help of the divine, fate, destiny. Okay, it's a realignment is what I'm feeling here. Now, what's very interesting here is that these two decks are two different decks. And this other deck is a different deck, but it's saying the same message. So here you go. You guys have the Wheel of Fortune coming up for you in the near future. So again, a turn of events, okay, that is not seen Okay, helped by the universe, by fate, by, uh, you know, the higher source, the creator, uh, whatever your belief system may be, is going to create an opportunity for the ace of pentacles. New opportunities coming your way, a new beginning, solid future, solid uh, emotions, solid goal, solid foundation here with the ace of pentacles. For some of you, remember I was talking about the three. I'm happy. I hope that all of you waited uh, to the end here. Three, one person, another person, and someone on the way. Okay, so for some of you, uh, again, this may be a creation or blending of family uh, that may be coming up in the near future. Aquarius, I hope that this was insightful. Click here on the Lexatero logo to be part of the Lexatero family and click down here for more free messages. I'll see you guys. Take care.